welcome back to Once Upon a Page. Today we're going to talk about book clubs. So, anybody in a book club? I am not oh, currently. Not. not currently. Have you been in the past? A long time ago I was in one, but I don't think the people I was in it with were really as into reading. <laughs> So like we got through one book before yeah. we went. Oh. Okay, we're done, and I'm Aww. going really. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. I hope ours doesn't. We just started one with some girls that I worship with, um, and so we're hoping that this will actually pick up and we'll pick up some more people because yeah. I'm very excited. And uh, we don't really have a theme that we're going with for our books, mm -hmm. but um, the first one we read was. Uh, Finding Dorothy, which was about how Hollywood took The Wizard of Oz and made it into the movie, but also how Frank Baum wrote The Wizard of Oz, and it's all done through his wife's perspective. So is that fiction? It is fiction based on reality. Okay. So it was really, really interesting. I'm very excited to see what else we're going to yeah. come up with for the rest of the year. That was a really good start. Yeah. And then I'm also on, it's not really a book club that I'm in online, but we do a reading challenge every year. And it's not a number. It's each month we have a different category to read from. Hmm. So like the first month we were supposed to read a book by an author who inspires us. Hmm. Some months we'll read things like, a biography or an autobiography or one about science or one about history or um, something to help us grow so it's I've this is the third year that I've done this and I'm loving it because it makes me get outside of my normal oh look a romance novel yeah. <laughs> you know? I'm still reading my romance novels but um, this just breaks it up and and it's fun and it also is, I feel like, helping me grow as a person because I've read several things that I would never have read before. So, yeah. Now, I am in an online reading group um, that each month, they've taken their book club idea and put it online mm -hmm. where they say, okay, this is the book we're going to read this month. And you can come back on every, I don't know what day it is because I haven't joined, it, joined in that particular mm -hmm. part of the group. Um, but you can come back on this certain day and we'll have a post up with a question for discussion and we'll go back and forth and discuss this and, and everything. And so you kind of get to be a virtual mm -hmm. book club, um, which is kind cool. of kind of neat, I thought. Mm -hmm. neat, I um, now, a lot of authors now, I don't have it in mind, but I have it separately, but a lot of them include questions in their books. Yes. Right. Um, do you ever, even if you're not in a book club, do you ever use those to kind of think through what's happened? Honestly, I don't. don't. <laughs> yeah. You know, I read more for pleasure, I think, mm -hmm. than, mm -hmm. so it's going to be interesting to see how I do in an actual <laughs> book club. Um, but I have had some book clubs read my book mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. their yeah. Book, and I'm actually um, I'm Skyping with one of them in February oh, that's yes. so yeah. that we can talk about my book, which is pretty exciting mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, you which know? one are they doing? Uh, an Unexpected Legacy. Cool. Um, so I'm actually going to be talking to a whole bunch of girls in Texas uh -huh. awesome. you know, online about my book. Um, but the first book club that did it was in Florida, and they actually came up with a list of questions, and then I got to share those mm -hmm. like on my website and stuff for anybody who might want to use it's them in the future. Cool. On there mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. on the back of your book, it's a good idea. Right. So that was pretty I good. I took mine and I made them and used them as my um, as kind of a thank you for people who sign up for my mm -hmm. newsletter. Nice. They get the mm -hmm. uh, questions that go along with the book. Neat. And, yeah. and everything. Now, there are a lot of different book clubs out there. There are, you know, um, it sounds like the one that you're in isn't necessarily, even though there are people you worship with, it's not dedicated Christian right. reading. It, right. You know, um, 
what are the benefits or what do you think would be the benefits of a book club that focuses on Christian reading, whether it's fiction or nonfiction? Well, then you would know that you're probably going to agree with whatever everyone is with reading, most with it. most yeah. of it. You know, you know, like it'll be something that you normally maybe would pick up, mm -hmm. maybe would be a plus. Say, so you don't have to worry about the language. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I noticed, you know, if you read a book that is not Christian, mm -hmm. you never know what the language is. Right. Even if it's a bestseller, and mm -hmm. I've had some people say, oh, you have to read this book. I couldn't put it down. Mm -hmm. And I get a couple pages into it, and I'm like, I want to put it down because, <laughs> like, every single page has four mm -hmm. or five different cuss words on it. And I'm thinking, people actually talk like this? Why? Mm -hmm. Why? You know? Mm -hmm. And... And so if you do only clean or Christian mm -hmm. fiction, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry if your kids pick it up and flip through it mm -hmm. because you're not going to be worried about what they're going to find. Mm -hmm. You don't usually have to worry about what's on the cover. Yeah. You know, and yeah. granted, a lot of people read it via Kindle or, mm -hmm. or iPad or whatever, but still, yeah. it's, it's nice to not have to worry about stuff like that. But then you've also got where a lot of Christian fiction has the growth arch, mm -hmm. arc in, mm -hmm. their, in their characters. And so as the character grows through whatever struggles the author has given her or him, um, you know, maybe you can glean something mm -hmm. from that for your own life right. too. Which well, is see, nice. One of the other benefits that I could see from focusing on Christian books is that it gives you that spiritual element to talk through because mm -hmm. even though I think I think we would agree that yes it's fiction mm -hmm. but the truths are real and no I'm not saying that a fiction book should substitute for Bible study right. or right. anything yeah. like that please do not think that um, but there are still truths mm -hmm. that are contained in it when we've written it from a Christian perspective right and it gives us a place to talk about those to um, dive into if we want to go deeper in the actual Bible study aspect mm -hmm. of it and say you know this character struggled with this what does scripture say about that what do you think she did right in this what do you think she did wrong in this and I don't know why it's a she like you like yeah. naturally <laughs> pull out she um, and, and give the group a place to not just enjoy the book for the book's sake, for right. the story's sake, but also to use it as a chance for growth and spiritual dialogue. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that aspect of it. Yeah, definitely. And uh, so if you are part of a book club, um, either online or in person, mm -hmm. um, tell us about it in the comments below. And you may find other people wanting to join. Um, some people can't find in-person uh, groups to be a part of right. and we do have the opportunity to reach out beyond mm -hmm. our borders and uh, Join with other people who enjoy the same things we do. So do leave those in yep. the comments section uh, Don't forget your UN20 videos if you have a book that you've read recently that you'd like to share with us We would love to hear from you. The email for that will be in the description of the video and uh, go ahead and click subscribe if you yeah. haven't and that way you will get notifications every time we put up a new video and we will see you next time bye, bye. bye.